It takes something special for a swimming hole to make it onto the National Register of Historic Places. But that's what the Pawnee Lake Bathhouse Water Park has done. From its very start in the depths of the Depression, it's provided a stylish escape from Oklahoma's searing summer heat. On a hot summer day, there's nothing more fun or refreshing than taking a nice cool dip. Ten-year-old Gabriel is a regular at this swimming hole. I come out here almost every day. His favorite thing to do? Jump off the high diving stuff. He's not alone. Big and little kids are lining up to jump off the high dive, the low dive, and slip down the water slide at the Pawnee Lake Bathhouse Water Park just outside Pawnee. Lena Hannah O'Neill brought her son Donson out for the afternoon. We were really delighted when we saw we pulled up the, the street here. He says, look, there's people in there, it's open. <laughs> From Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day weekend, the bathhouse at Pawnee Lake is open to the public. For just $2, you can stay all day picnicking, swimming, and using the paddle boats. Amy Funkhauser runs the park. You know, the bathhouse is a historic monument and everyone in Pawnee just loves it. We get visitors all day long coming in just to look at the facilities. That's because the bathhouse changing facilities here aren't just some shed on the shore. This bathhouse is a work of art constructed by the WPA in the waning days of the Great Depression. The entire building is constructed of hand-hewn stone quarried locally. Its staircases run from the bathhouse all the way down to the water's edge through a series of terraces. In addition, WPA crews constructed pathways and retaining walls around part of the lake's shore. Daryl Gamble runs the museum in Pawnee. He remembers when WPA crews dug out the lake to create a natural swimming pool for his town. And we had the swimming pool open that first year, 1937, 38. And they had a a good swimming that summer, but they didn't have any place to change clothes that go behind a tree or bush, and they got tired of doing that, so they built a bathhouse. Brad Sewell is Pawnee's acting mayor. When it was done, uh, it was evidently a really important uh, uh, project at the time. The governor was here for the grand opening, and so was the director of w WPA program, the national director of the WPA program. They shut the whole town down. And they all went out to the lake, celebrated. Uh, of course, my best time was when I got back out of the Navy. I ran the swimming pool back then. I was lifeguard. And we had a lot of fun. That Back then, we had dances on the balcony. And we had an old Nickelodeon we put out on the balcony to play dance music. As time went by, though, people in Pawnee decided they no longer wanted to swim in a lake. They wanted something more modern. As the years went on, uh, pools, you know, constructed pools, cement pools, became more and more common, and just sort of the push for a pool that uh, had chlorinated water and all that sort of thing started happening. And in 1978, they actually had a pool uh, built. And uh, when they did that, they went ahead and decided, the city decided to focus on that and not so much focus on this facility out here. The cement pool eventually became too costly to keep up. So in 2003, folks in Pawnee decided the time was right to restore and preserve their old bathhouse and swimming hole out at the lake. So once again, it could become the coolest place to be on a hot summer day.